Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about doing the lifts that feel awkward to you, that feel just heavy to you, that you don't enjoy, because what most people do, especially younger guys when they join a gym, they find a lot of the basic exercises, it could be anything from a flat bench, it could be the incline bench, it could be a Romanian deadlift. But some exercise exists for most of you out there that feels awkward. Even sometimes when you've built a good strength base, it feels awkward, it feels heavy. You don't lift as much on it as other people at the gym who are maybe close to your size and strength level and other lifts. And so therefore we avoid it. And if your goals are to be as well developed as possible or as strong as possible all around or as athletic as possible all around, it becomes important that you address those weak points. And take me for example, I've started doing the incline bench again recently. I was actually not doing it at all for over a year and I had only been doing it at a shallow angle, which again is better for overall chest development, not necessarily strength through all planes of motion. And so I've started doing that 45 degree incline because it felt awkward to me. I messed around with it with just the bar and it felt unbalanced. It felt awkward. It was hard. So I've started working on it. And I know that on that lift, because of what I bench on the flat bench, I should probably be able to rep 275 on it pause eventually so that's a goal i'm reaching towards and i'm putting a lot of efforts into that lift it is my main accessory movement that i do right now because i know that it's i'm weak at it and awkward at it and therefore i need to improve on it and as a result of that since i've started doing it i have noticed things like my upper chest coming up my my shoulders coming up a little bit so it seems to be helping now that i've started doing it and trying to progress on it really really hard i'm doing it up to three times a week now and for some of you, it might not even be a, a major movement like that. It could be something like when you pause squat. When you actually pause on an ass to grass squat, you're literally squatting 100 or 150 pounds less than your main squat. Well, if that's what's happening, then you might want to consider doing it a little more. Focus upon getting stronger at your weak points because it's sometimes not just a neuromuscular or a motor pattern issue. It is oftentimes that you have muscle imbalances in there that are not being addressed in your overall training. And by finding the exercises that you suck at, that feel awkward to you, that you just hate, not painful. If it's painful, there's something wrong with your, your either your range of motion or your bar path or your technique. But if they just feel awkward and unbalanced and shaky, that is probably an exercise that you could benefit from tremendously in bringing up your weak points and your strength or your overall size. So it doesn't matter what discipline you lift for, if you have an exercise that you can find like that, any basic exercise, whether it's an incline bench or a pause squat or a behind the neck press, you should probably spend several months focusing upon it very heavily, make it a pretty high priority in your training and bring up those weak points. It will benefit you in the long run. And that's the attitude that those of us who train and really want to get the most out of our training should really have is rather than skip the things that feel awkward or that we don't like and they just feel heavy and bleh, those, those lifts, we need to be focusing on getting as strong as we possibly can on those. There's always a lift like that out there for you somewhere. Get strong on it and it will pay huge dividends down the road. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.